drive with Flipsky 6384s running at 16S on uh, a U-Box. Oh, nice. Uh, the cells are salvaged from a Tesla Model 3 from before it was hit, it hit the road. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's um, cool. Yeah, so 16S, 6P. You should get around 50 miles of range, 45 mile per hour top speed. The tires are uh, kinned 200 by 75, the same as on the uh, Cali XL40. Uh, the wheels are Trambo with a 3D printed spacer using carbon fiber filament. Uh, here, 100% infill. Oh, nice. Uh, the rear. You have enough thread here to catch? Yeah, I, I checked. Okay, perfect. The nylon on there is actually really long. Uh, I got springs in the front, uh, barrels in the back. I'm supposed to have barrels all around, but so those are coming, right? They're coming, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, the headlights are COV LEDs, uh, so instead of having spots, it's one long PCB, so the lights have no gaps. They're really, nice. really bright, front and back. Uh, has 120 watts of 12 volt DC accessory power, and then I think 60 watts of 24 volt uh, accessory power. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but. That's impressive. Yeah. Really cool, and uh, yeah. Avoid Puck. Awesome. Yeah, we're talking about this here. It looks really cool, so we're thinking to put a, a 3D printed cover here, so it looks nice. But look at the bottom. Oh wow! And all this is machine. It would be nice to cover the screws to cut them short and maybe put them upside down. I'm gonna cut them short, yeah. yeah. So it's flush will be really nice here. But this I is. Have to put the, I have to put this one this way because the tops are rounded and I don't want sharp things inside for the battery to hit and wires. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So I'll, I'm just gonna hit this with a flap disc. And I don't want Or mind you can make a thread in the. I don't know if you have space here to make a thread into the. I don't wanna trust threading. To hold if, you, my if, life. You if you put the red Loctite, it will never come out. No, it's not, it's not the fact that it's going to come loose, it's the fact that the threading might strip. Yeah, or how about welding? You can just weld this thing here, or maybe like well, weld. I want this to be a, a, so a platform apart. so that in the future, if I want to put a different drivetrain, all I got to do is unbolt this and I can put a different drivetrain on that this. That makes sense, that's a good idea. Actually. Or I could put, um, I could take the drivetrains off and put this in a Pelican case and carry it. So it's portable, yeah. Yeah, so I could put any, like if I want to make this a urethane, Build, I could. I could yep. just get. I built it. I order a different one of these and put trucks on it. Yep. And then it's now it's a urethane build. Yeah, getting it's probably good, yeah. getting probably 70 miles, uh, 80 miles of range. That makes sense. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. So it's more modular that way. Yeah. Beautiful. And then also, if I want even sharper turning, I could actually take this to a metal shop and bend it at more of an angle. It's 35 and 35 right now. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't think of that. Yeah, I really like to make things modular. Yeah, you can customize, you can upgrade uh, for time, you can change uh, the way I like it. That's actually a pretty good idea. I'm going to keep adding little details and polishing this for the next couple months to make it... Like, by, 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 I'm hoping by Halloween, it's like... I don't All done, anything. Yeah. That would be nice, yeah. And this is nice to hear done. Yeah, when I put the 3D printed cover on that, it'll be great. Yeah, even now it looks cool.